What's up? I'm Hair Jordan. I'm probably going to do a voiceover today because it's really echoey in this bathroom. Today I'm going to show you how I cut my own hair in the side cut style. I basically just use a razor comb for everything. I don't use scissors at all. This is a razor comb. It's not the best one. I recommend a different one. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get the one that I prefer to use. It's only like five or six bucks to order on Amazon. They're really cheap and they work nice. But this is the one I had today on hand and, and it works fine. So I'm starting up top, just redoing my layers up there. I like to always keep my layers maintained because that helps my hair have good volume. I don't know if there's really a technique. You don't, you don't actually run the razor comb through your hair. Wherever you run it through it's gonna cut so if you run the razor comb through like by your scalp it's gonna cut your hair really short you, you kind of have to pick your hair up and then just cut it it just like you would with scissors it takes some time but I think the best way to do it is to do lots of short strokes instead of trying to take off big chunks at one time you have to have patience with it just take your time and be really careful you can always cut off more but if you go too short then i mean it's just that's just how short you're gonna be stuck with for a little bit doing the part that faces my forehead is probably the trickiest one because i cut that a little bit shorter than the rest of it so that i don't have a bunch of stringy hairs on my face it's really not complicated once you do it a couple times you get the hang of it and you also get the hang of how you exactly want it to look on your face it's a lot easier to maintain once you already have the side cut the first time I got this haircut I had a friend do it for me we basically just parted it where we thought it looked good and then we cut it short we actually buzzed it sometimes I play with scissors but I don't actually use them I like to have the side of my hair a little bit longer but if you don't want it that way you can buzz it too like I did at first it was really scary the first time I did it because I was afraid we were gonna mess it up and then I would just be screwed but I was happy with the way it turned out and I don't know my philosophy is do something if you want to do it and you're probably gonna mess up the first couple times but it's okay because that's just life so just do it I mean be careful and take every precaution to not make huge mistakes but if you do it's okay if you're thinking about getting this haircut you should definitely go to Google images and search for a bunch of people who have it and see which type of side cut you like the best, which length, which side, same color, different color. Because there's multiple ways to have a side cut, not just the way I have it. Some people even put designs in the side, which I think is awesome. But there's no reason to be afraid to try a new haircut. If you want to do it, just go for it. But yeah, that's about it. It's actually pretty simple. And I just taught myself, actually, I've never even watched a tutorial video on how to do it. So I hope I'm explaining this <laughs> in a way that makes sense. I just figured it out by trial and error. If you like the brand of hair dye that I use, there's also a link in the description where you can get that as well. It's called Eero Eero. And leave a comment if you watch me do this on You Now. I was live streaming on You Now while I filmed this video. Thank you so much for watching. A lot of people have been asking for this tutorial, so I decided to make it. If there's another tutorial or topic you want me to make a video about, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.